Hey everyone, it's Deborah. Thank you so much for coming back. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a what's in my beach bag video. I am currently going on a family vacation. Actually, I'll be leaving when this is posted. And um, we're just taking a little, quick little family vacation to San Antonio, Texas. And since everything in my life is pretty much packed away in storage while this house is being built, I had to go out and buy new stuff for vacation, new beach bag, new everything. We are going to San Antonio and from there we're going to be going to South Padre Island. I really liked the size of the bag. It's huge. It's huge. Um, let's see here. It says oversized summer beach tote. Let's see, four exterior pockets, fully lined with coordinated pattern, interior pocket, key clip, and sturdy base. Here, 19 and 3 quarter inch by 8.62 inch by 15 and a half inch. So, it's pretty big. And there's a zipper here. Um, it's just really big on the inside here. And then a Velcro pocket here. And then on the sides, each side has a pocket here. Each side has a pocket. The back has a pocket. This bag is huge. It's so hard to get it in the thing. And that is huge as well. So let me go ahead and show you what's on the inside. I like that it's vinyl. So the exterior is waterproof, and this is a Dabney Lee. It's just, it's cute. It's a good size as well. Um, of course, this is from Target, so I'll show you what I have in here. I believe this was $9.99, very inexpensive. The inside is not, it's cloth. It's like a vinyl, so I can wipe it down, so that's not bad. So the first thing I'll pull out of here is... Um, the Dove dry spray in the Caring Coconut. I did haul this before and I really, really do like it and I love the smell. It smells really good. The next item that I'll pull out, I'll just pull out, is a comb. I never brush my hair when it's wet. I always comb it. It's best for my hair not to brush it. Um, so I just throw a comb in there and it's easy. It's wide tooth. Won't damage my hair. And then sticking with the hair, I do have the Pureology Highlight Stylus, the Sea Kiss Texturizer. I love this, and I don't know if they're doing away with this product or repackaging it, but I freaking love this. You spray this on when your hair is damp, and it gives you beautiful beach waves. I don't have to do anything to my hair. Um, sometimes the like the very front of my hair doesn't want to cooperate with me, so I'll throw on like a little band or a little. I'll pin it back with a cute little blinged out bobby pin or something, you know, just running errands. But I love, I love this stuff and I hope, I really hope that they're not doing away with it. But that's that. It's just a spray. And it's by Pureology. I love Pureology. Okay, so then the next item I like to keep in my bag is this um, Sephora Coconut Lip Balm. And I really love these. I get I have the coconut and the almond. I don't know, they're very inexpensive. I usually find them by the checkout lane. And I believe they're six dollars. So I got that. And then I just keep a pack of the Simply Summer's Eve in coconut water in my bag. Just for just for whatever. And then I always have to, of course, keep some Bath and Body Works. Um, since it's the summertime with a golden tan, I have the Cabana Breeze, the Diamond Shimmer Mist in there. Because I like the way it smells and I love the sparkle. And I have the Pulse Side Pop, the Sheer Body Oil in there as well. You know, for after tanning or while tanning or whatever. <laughs> um, and then during the... Um, during the semi-annual sale, I did pick up a few of these items. I really do love the Fiji Pineapple Palm. 
So I picked up the Travel Body Wash. So I have one of those in there because whenever we go to a pool or to the ocean, I like to take a quick rinse off throughout the day depending on how long we're there or what we're going to do right afterwards. So I got that and then I got the Body Mist to go in there. So this year I, I thought I'd give this a try and see if this works. If not, you know, I'm sure I can run to a Target out there and get something appropriate. Um, but I have the Fiji Pineapple Palm, the Aloe Gel Lotion. And it says, Keep skin looking and feeling incredibly soft, nourished, and healthy. It's infused with soothing aloe, protective vitamin E, and nourishing coconut and manoi, manoi oils. I'm not sure. I'm just looking at the ingredients and... Whatever. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, like I said, I can run to a Target and pick something up. And then I do have the Pretty as a Peach Aqua Cool Aloe Lotion. I threw this one in there as well. It was from their new summer collection. And summer's ticking away, so I thought, you know, let me bring it out and use it. and I'll just throw it in there for whoever needs it. And then I always keep uh, some hand lotion. This is from EOS. I don't know what it's what the scent is. Maybe cucumber. Let me smell. Yeah, it smells like fresh cucumber. I bought it in a three pack. I believe there was a pink and a lavender one in there as well. And then I do keep some hair ties in there. And that is it for that bag. So that's all of that. Not sure if I'm going to keep everything in here. It looks like it's not going to fit, so apparently I won't be keeping everything in there. And then I did purchase this at the beauty supply store. I have to open it up and just pick one scent out to carry. Again, it's a hand lotion, and I usually buy the hemp's for my purse to keep in my purse. This is the fruits cocktails. And let me just open that here real quick so you can see. It has three different cocktails on here. It's got Rejuvenate and Refresh, Blushing Grapefruit and Raspberry Cream, plus Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. It's called Sweet Tropical Daiquiri. Then the second one is Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon, plus Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. That's called Fresh Melon Com Cosmo. And then the third one is Fresh Coconut and Watermelon Blushing Grapefruit and Raspberry Cream. That is called Coconut Raspberry Spritzer. So I picked these up, like I said, at the beauty supply store um, at Salon Centric. And I believe they were $10. So I got these at the very beginning of the summer. So, and I always usually buy pomegranate and keep that in my purse every day throughout the year because I really love how it's hydrating. And I'm the type of person, every time I wash my hands, whether we're out in public, whenever, my hands have to be hydrated. So I always throw a pack. I probably will take the sweet pineapple and honey melon. Yeah, I'll probably take this one. Throw this one in the bag. Take that with. And then I have these two for extras. So I did haul this Hawaiian dark tanning oil in a Target haul. That's the one that I'm bringing. I do have to stick it in a baggie because I don't trust these. I usually buy the spray, but they didn't have any. And this is what they had when I was there, and I wasn't going to go back just for this. So I'll probably put this in a baggie in case it spills. But I love, I actually love the oil. And then, I've never tried these products. All three of these I picked up at the um, at Target. And this I picked up before I even picked these up, not even realizing that it's all the same brand. But I got this. It was just in an end cap. Um, it was by like a bunch of summer travel items. And this is called Pacifica Cocoa Pure Makeup Removing Wipes with Coconut Water for all skin types, sulfate, paraffin free, and there's 10 towelettes in here.
And it says Pacifica 100% vegan cruelty free coconut pure makeup removing wipes with coconut water. It says coconut milk, aloe, and jojoba oil infused natural fiber wipes gently remove makeup, daily pol pollutants, and everything else you don't want on your beautiful skin. Don't sleep in your makeup. Rinse free cleansing makes it easy to be good for all skin types. So I did purchase that to throw in my bag because I do like to clean off any excess oil off my face throughout the day, especially, you know, when I'm going to go ahead and reapply my sun care on my, fa my face care. So the next thing is the Specifica SPF 30 Mineral Face Shade Coconut Probiotic. It's a broad spectrum UVA, UVB face lotion. It's water resistant for 80 minutes, free of chemical UV absorbers so and it's 100% vegan cruelty free so you know that when you're looking for an SPF especially you know for anything face or body you want to get at least 50 I did get 30 um, but like I said I'm not gonna go out and purchase um, all brand new stuff when I have a lot of this stuff and this for being at Target this was pretty pricey I think this was like 15 and 17 or, or something like that. I could have just ran to Nordstrom's or something and picked up something at the counter. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, you always want to get something that has UVA and UVB coverage. Um, let's see. So SPF 30, it just means I'm going to have to reapply this on my face a little bit more often than I normally would with a 50. But I wear sunglasses and I usually wear floppy hats. Um, I'm not too worried about this because I also use a tinted moisturizer with SPF in it. So I'm really actually excited to use this. And then I have the Sun Plus Skincare Mineral Sunscreen Coconut Probiotic. And this is um, SPF 50 for the body. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes balance formula designed to apply evenly. So I'm excited to try this. I I know this is like an oxymoron here, but I typically on my body I don't use SPF and I know that's a big no-no and now that I'm getting older it's really really big no-no. Um, but just for this one trip I'm going to use this. I'm taking this in case I get too tan, too red, or I don't want as much sun, um, or if anybody else needs this. But not least, I did get a brand new beach towel because again, all my peach to or beach towels are in storage. So this is what it looks like. It's just like palm leaves and actually matches my beach bag. And it's a summer beach towel, $17.99. I did not pay $17.99 for this. I probably paid $9.99 for it at Meyer. And like I said, I think it's pretty much just in the Midwest. I don't think everybody has a Meyer. Um, and it's six foot oversized. So it says 40 inches by 72 inches. So it's a pretty big towel. And I like that it has this ringlet thing here so you can hang it and hang it to dry. Hey guys, you know what? I almost forgot. I've been loving something and I totally forgot to put this in my What's My Beach bag because it goes everywhere with me and it's definitely going to the pool and the beach with me. And that is my Yeti cup. Look how cute this is. I did get the 32 ounce. I love these. This definitely keeps everything super, super cold. I love my drinks super ice cold. I love lots of ice. I love it really cold. This definitely keeps it super cold. I can run into a mall for the day with this and come back and my drink's still going to be cold in my car with ice in it. Um, so this definitely, and I didn't match this purposely, but look how well it matches my beach bag and my towel. Um, this was one of the only pretty colors that I liked and I'm loving it. I'm obsessed with Yeti. So get out there and get your Yeti cups. That is everything that is in my beach bag. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button for me if you enjoy these type of what's in my bag videos. This is the beach bag edition. Subscribed if you haven't subscribed. And thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon.